Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathbog, and this lesson is Divide by 7. This is Lesson 7-7. Seven, seven. Don't forget, to all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So our essential question is, uh, what strategies can we use to divide by 7? Okay, and there's our common core strand. So there's a few that we're going to go over here. So here's the first one. Uh, Ernesto made uh, 28 cookies to give to 7 teachers. Yes, I love when students give me cookies. Uh, uh, he will give the same number to each teacher. Now there's seven teachers and 28 cookies. So how many cookies will each teacher receive? Okay, well this is the, the title is divide by seven. So obviously we're going to do 28 divided by seven, but we'll talk more about that in just a second. So do we need to find the number of equal groups or the number in each group? Well, uh, since we're uh, giving uh, 28 cookies to seven teachers, then we need to find out how many cookies each teacher will receive, so or how many will be in each group. So uh, that's what we need to find out, how many in each group. And what label are we going to answer, give our answers? Well, this is talking about cookies, how many cookies we're going to give to each teacher. So our answer is going to be in terms of, of cookies here. So, all right, so here's one way, you guys, um, and I'll show you other ways also. So we can draw one tile in each of seven rows. So there's um, uh, one tile in each of seven rows. So we've laid out seven tiles, these red tiles right here, and I numbered them for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you probably aren't going to number them, but that's okay. You just count. You're just going to have to count, you guys. And so what the trick on this is, okay, and we did it in seven rows. The seven rows count for the seven teachers, you guys. So we're going to continue drawing one tile in each of the seven rows until all 28 tiles are drawn. So these are going to be our 28 cookies right there, okay? So there's seven tiles, and I'm just going to pick up right here in, in row one again and do another tile, another tile, another tile. So here we go, off on the tile train. Here we go. So there's seven tiles, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I think I started counting these in threes, I think. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Remember, we got to get up to the magic number 28, so three more. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and finally 27 and 28. Okay, so there are how many tiles in each row? Well, here's a row, here's a row, here's a row. Now later, these are actually called columns, you guys. Rows are written this way, but I want to be consistent with your textbook. So we'll just pretend like this is a row right here. But there's one, two, three, there's four tiles in this row, there's four tiles in this row, four tiles in this row, and so on. So um, so there are four tiles in each row right there. Okay, so Ernesto will give how many cookies to each teacher? Each teacher is going to give four cookies and then one extra credit for, for Mr. Math Blog because he loves cookies. Yum, yum. All right, so we can write 28 divided by 7 this way, or we can write 28 divided by 7 this way. In both cases, we found out that it's going to be 4. Now watch where I write the 4 right here. Is it going to be above the 2? No, it'll be above the 8 right here because it's going into 28. It goes into the last digit right here. So 7 doesn't go into 2, but 7 goes into 28. So I'll put the 4 right above the 8 there, okay? All right, so each teacher gets 4 cookies, except for Mr. Mathlog gets 5. All right, uh, why can we use division to solve this problem? So explain. Well, division involves breaking up an amount, in this case, the 28 cookies, into equal, usually smaller amounts. And for we're going to break it up into the seven equal teachers. Each teacher is going to get equal amounts. So that's why we divide it here. So here's some other ways, you guys. We can use a related multiplication fact. So 28 divided by 7 equals some number, and we'll call it A, A being an unknown. Um, okay. Uh, and, and then later on in algebra, when you get into algebra, we'll use the letter X usually or Y usually. But I'm not going to use X in this one because it looks like a multiplication right here. Okay, so 28 divided by 7 equals some number just means the same thing as 7 times that, that some number, that unknown number, equals 28. So 7 times what number equals 28? Okay, what number times 7 equals 28? Well, that would be 4. 7 times 4 equals 28. Okay, so... Here, 28 divided by 7 equals 4, or this way, if we want to write this way, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Again, the 4 goes right above that 8 right there, okay? Four cookies and one extra. <laughs> All right, or we can make equal groups. So we've done this before. So we can draw seven circles to show the seven groups or the seven teachers. There's seven different circles right there. And then we can draw one counter in each group, okay? So there's one counter in each group. And then we can continue drawing one counter at a time until 
all 28 counters are drawn. Okay, so here's seven counters right here, and then we can, and this is for my seven teachers, and we can, so if we had 28 tiles piled over here, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna start counting, you guys. So there's seven, okay, so there's eight, there's nine, there's 10. Notice one goes in each until all of them have the same amount. There's 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now I'm gonna start counting by twos. 15 and 16, 17 and 18, 19 and 20, okay, and then 21 and 22. Did you see that? I put this one here, and then we, and now we're back to this one, okay? Uh, 23 and 24, 25, 26, finally 27 and 28, okay? So there are how many counters in each group after we gave up all 28 cookies or 28 counters? There's four counters in each group on that, okay? So all those methods work. All right, you guys, I hope that helps.